Rahaf Mohammed al Kanun is on a flight to Canada. They also say the 18-year-old Saudi woman who fled to Thailand to escape abuse from her family was granted asylum by Canada. CBC has not yet independently confirmed those reports that she is on a flight, but we do have Megan Roberts working on this story. I guess you're calling global affairs everyone trying to get some kind of reaction or con confirmation. What's the update? I mean, that's the last piece in the puzzle, really. We're hearing from other news organizations, from Reuters, for example. We're hearing from Thai officials saying that she is now on her way to eventually Canada. She will first stop in Seoul, Korea. You can see Al Kanun there. She'll start first off in South Korea before then boarding another flight to Canada. Again, we haven't independently verified this. And in fact, last we heard of from the Office of Canadian, the Canadian Foreign Minister, they're still saying they can't confirm that she has been granted asylum here in Canada. So that's what we're waiting to hear. But Thai officials are saying that she is on her way. That's being reported by Reuters, again, making a connecting flight in Seoul, South Korea. And we also know that previous to all of this, an Australian newspaper was reporting the same thing, that it appeared she would be headed towards Canada. So really, we're just waiting from that official confirmation from Canadians, we from the government of Canada. We also have reached out to Canada's representative for the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, who, when we talked to them last, said that he couldn't provide any information for protective reasons. So she says the Thai officials say that she's on her way to Canada, expecting her I don't know exactly how long the flight will take. Certainly, it's a long flight to Canada from Seoul, South Korea. And the, her exact destination in Canada also isn't yet known. But really, Suhana, we are just waiting for that last confirmation from the government of Canada. We've been working on it, and we'll continue to work on it. The Twitter campaign that started all of this, for our viewers for whom this might be a news story, remind me of it. Absolutely. So sh this is a 18-year-old young woman, and she was vacationing in Kuwait with her family. And she took that opportunity to to flee what she said were abusive conditions um, mentally physically and she says that she was afraid to go back to her family because she was afraid that she would be killed and it's important to mention that her father has denied those claims of abuse so she wanted to go to Australia with a stopover in Thailand to claim asylum but during her stopover in Thailand she ran into trouble they tried to send her back to her family, and that is when she barricaded herself in her hotel room. You can see her there with her phone, and she used that phone to get international attention and make these pleas for help to tell the world her story and ask for asylum. And it should be noted that she has temporarily suspended her Twitter account where she was giving all this information. She is saying that she's receiving a number of death threats, Suhana, which is why she decided to suspend her Twitter account for now. All right, keep me updated. Thank you, Megan. You're welcome.